Hello, JR, friends, Sci Fi Network associates. Uh, my name is Johnny Leftwich. I'm a special effects makeup artist. Um, and we're currently standing on the porch uh, of the house that I grew up in on, uh, well, I won't name the street, but it's in Colonial Heights, Virginia, just south of Richmond. Um, and uh, I was thinking about how, how I could present myself um, to you guys to better my chances of getting on the show. And I figured uh, if I make it on the show, then um, you'll want to see me. So what better way to show you who I am and what I do than to give you the grand tour of the house I grew up in, um, where I currently live and work. Um, I like to consider myself a professional, though I don't always do things in a totally professional manner. I uh, Sometimes I like to do it my way. I always like to do it my way. Sometimes I find out that it's the hard way, but that's how I learn. Um, and uh, we'll start out with an example of that right here. You can just get a shot of that. That's where I sprayed crystal clear on my life cast. Uh, my dad's not going to be too happy about that, but I got to work. So there's that. And uh, let's go inside. Let's come on through and I'll show you some of the stuff. There's a drawing that I did. It's incomplete. Um, here is a uh, makeup from Mehron. Some of my uh, face paints that I used. Oh, there's a there's a check for doing makeup, which I'm pretty happy about. Use this for face paints on a Midsummer Night's Dream, which I recently worked on. Um, my kit, my makeup kit, right here. Here's a bottle of wine. Wine's always good. Moving on, you see evidence of all of the all of my. Some of it is just totally inexcusable mess, but a lot of it, such as this, as I mentioned earlier is uh, is work related. Here's my desktop background, which is some more of my work. One of the best skulls I've ever seen, which I actually got at Big Lots for eight bucks. I saw it and I was like, wow, that's a great skull. So I bought three of them because I like skulls. There's that. Now let's go to the kitchen where I'm currently working on my current project um, with director Paul Huggins, who is behind the camera, and I thank him for being here and helping me out and putting me on this project. Um, so thank you, Paul. Uh, this is the chair where I recently gave birth to a demon baby. Actually, that's that's hair dye. I uh, for uh, the makeup you're about to see, um, I dyed some hair the color of my hair, so that when I apply it, it'll all you know blend together and hopefully look pretty good. Um, this right here is gelatin. This is the life cast um, and the mold, which again, I tend to do things my way. It's not totally professional and certainly ain't pretty, but hopefully it'll get the job done. Also, I'm working with limited supplies, so making the best of uh, what I got. And here's some, here's some gelatin that I just poured. Got some on the floor. There it is. Uh, here's all the, the equipment, all the stuff that I use, some glycerin, sorbitol, actual gelatin, and behind it is the uh, closest thing they had to UltraCal at uh, Home Depot, which is what this is right here. Um, canned air, burlap, rasp, hammer. Um, of course, uh, chip brush, camera, pan, all effects artists know what this is for. Sycamore Rouge, get a shot of this real quick. Quick shout out to Sycamore Rouge in Petersburg, Virginia. Um, when I got back from school, um, they gave me several opportunities to work over there and I've done bald caps, old age makeup, face painting like you just saw with Midsummer Night's Dream, elf ears. All kinds of stuff. They're really cool. Check them out. Uh, as I mentioned, my dad is a huge, huge horror buff, movie buff. Like, he probably could get a job as a film historian. Um, this is the environment in which I grew up. It's in my blood. It's what I know. Um, so come in here and I will 
show you that. This is my dad's movie room. Now, yeah, take a gander at all these movies. There, there's, watch out Paul, there's well over, well over a thousand movies in here. Um, everything, that's the comedy section I think. No, no, here's the comedy section over here. Pretty small. Everything else, horror. Horror, 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 horror. We've got everything, American Silent Horror Collection, right there, up to, you know, every decade, every decade, there's, there's, there's stuff. You know, we've got, what do we got over here? Uh, the Human Monster, you know, 20 horror films. There's several packs of 50 horror and terror films. Um, and take a look at all the stuff on the walls. Like, we have everything from The Spider, The Screaming Skull, Ghost of Frankenstein, Attack of the Crab Monsters, Tarantula, War of the Colossal Beast, House on Haunted Hill, I Was a Teenage Frankenstein, Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, one of the early classics, um, and lots of Frankenstein stuff. If you haven't seen already, my dad is a huge, uh, Frankenstein is his main thing. He's the, he's the Frankenstein man. And this is my room. We always have to duck to get in because I'm freakishly tall and this house was built for short people, so I'll watch my head as I go in. These are my rats, pet rats. Come here. Say hello, rat. Hello, rat. Ah, yes. Yes, lighting is an issue in here. I'm not a huge fan of light. Here's some of my posters. I really like uh, this artwork. I have I have not read any of the Shock or Crime series, but I really love this artwork. Um, Fight Club, of course, one of my favorite movies. Um, and the classic Frankenstein's monster. One of the most inspirational uh, makeups ever. Of course, the great Jack Pierce worked on Boris Karloff there. And, uh, Scanners, one of my all-time favorite movies. Best head explosion ever caught on film. Also a huge inspiration. Uh, so, that's my house. And um, thank you guys for the opportunity. And uh, I hope that you like what you saw. And I hope I get on the show. See you later.